Okay, for our next section on the fuselage, we're going to be cutting into the fuselage bottom and creating our compartment bay for our micro receiver, our speed controller, and our voltage regulator. And I'm going to go from about 8 millimeters back, the leading edge of the wing, 80 millimeters back toward the trailing edge and I'm going to split the difference between the distance underneath the wing and the bottom of the fuselage. That's going to be the size of the compartment that we're going to need and these numbers and measurements that I'm giving you are based on pre-positioning all the electronic components to be able to get the center of gravity correct on this plane. I've put a new blade in my X-Acto knife and what I want to do is I want to go in at an angle with my blade so that the compartment has something to rest against. Oops. Oops, oops. I'm fumbling with it. Okay, there's one end. And then I'll start on the other end. and I'm going to go in straight this time and you may have to go through this section two or three times because this is kind of tough on to cut I know you're probably having a hard time seeing what I'm doing right now but you'll be able to see once I'm finished with it And it's actually hard to see where you left off. This foam just kind of seals up behind your cuts. Let me put the camera over here so maybe you can see it a little bit better. Yeah, hot wire cutter would actually make this a lot easier. Okay, it's not looking too bad. Then when we get our electronics installed in it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack this panel back in place. Okay, that part's coming loose. Okay, so now we have our access panel. If you can see how much I cut away there. And what we're going to do is like I did with the, with the um, canopy cover. I'm going to hollow it out. And leave this cavity on the inside for our electronic components so I'm going to go ahead and pull out my old soldering iron and start melting this to hollow it out and then we'll come back and take a look 
at the finished product but halfway from the dis half of the distance from the bottom of the fuselage to where the bottom of the wing is eight miller eight millimeters back from the leading edge of the wing and then 80 millimeters back from there or approximately 80 millimeters we want to make sure that we have enough space for those three components that we're going to be putting in there all right see you in a little bit okay so what i have completed so far and, and i was able to i was able to um, carve out the inside of this cover this compartment cover for our electronics with just a with just a, an exacto blade i just shaved off a little bit of it at a time a little bit at a time and so it's got a nice curvature hollow curvature to it now and i'll show you what it looks like let's see yeah so it's not going to look too bad once it's tacked back in um i mean when it's in the air you won't even be able to see the seam on it now as for the inside of the compartment i have cut away as much as i can with an exacto blade i basically squared off the area here from where i made the angle cuts in and um squared off the area back here in the back and you can see what that cavity looks like and i have started shaving down um, are hollowing this out a little bit because the main wing when we put the main wing back in and I'm going to glue mine in Around the perimeter that will add a lot of Strength to to this fuselage and then when I put this compartment back in I'm going to tack weld it back in so that will also add back some strength but I'm going to take my Dremel tool with a It has a, a multi-purpose cutting bit looks like a kind of a corkscrew drill bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to go ahead and hollow the rest of this out about, I would say about three millimeters deep. We've got about 10 to 12 millimeters here. So I'm going to be taking off about a third of that out and basically just, you know, we'll have a wall here. You'll have a wall here, up here and up here. And the rest of it's going to be a rectangle that's going to be, have a depression of about three millimeters. And we need to do that in order to get all of our electronic components installed in here and and have it so that our um, compartment cover goes back on nice and tight. So I'm going to pull out my Dremel tool and start working on that. But this is what it looks like so far. Um, pretty good progress on it. It's a lot easier cutting into this fuselage foam than it was the canopy foam. The canopy foam seems much more... Um, flexible than the uh, than the fuselage does they must have used two different types of EPP foam on this but yeah that was much easier to cut with an exacto blade so I will be carving this out when I get it carved out the way I want it I'll show you what the end result looks like and I think the Dremel tool with the multi-purpose um, cutting bit I think it will work pretty well for this so see you later Okay, I want to show you what we have so far, and I basically have all the electronics in there right now. Okay, so there I have the compartment closed, and all the electronics are in there. So let me pull the electronics out. They're actually, when I get finished with them, they will actually be more compact than what I have them right now. But I wanted to show you the channel that I was able to carve out with that Dremel, with the... Um, multi-purpose cutting bit and I'll show you what it looks like it looks like a corkscrew drill bit is what it looks like but what I was able to do and I put it on a fairly high speed I would say it was probably about number eight out of ten and you have to you have to use a very steady hand and sometimes it wants to kick to to the side a little bit so make sure that you have a good grip on it but all I did when I when I um, defined the cavity that I wanted with the exacto blade, just cutting out, I cut out a little bit of the outside edge with an exacto blade so that I knew exactly what the perimeter was going to be. And then I just, I brought this down and I just draw a line and just draw a line and draw a line and it just carves that foam out. And it worked really, really well. So. I think I'm going to use the same process when I have to cut out the cavity for the the cavities for the servos in the main wing 
and one servo is going to go in the tail section. So, yeah, that worked out really well. The cavity is uh, fairly well defined, and you can see, you can hopefully you can see on the camera right here, see that little notch cut out right there. I was bringing it down, and then it must have hit a piece of foam that was a little bit more dense, and it kicked it over to the side. So make sure that you've got a good steady grip on it when you're carving that out, especially when you're going along your perimeter of your cavity because you don't want to mess it up. So, yeah, I'm, I am very happy with that. So, this is a learning process for me. I've never worked with EPP foam like this before. So, um, now we have our electronics bay carved out. We have enough space in there for all of our electronics. Uh, well, not all of our electronics, but for our voltage regulator, our micro receiver, and our micro speed controller. So, there you go we're we're done with that part now so um it's going to be on to carving out um a piece of the tail section for the servo so we'll be back for the next segment